Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here at Hyatt Zalora Riviera Maya, an adults only, all inclusive, formerly Secrets Capri. So let's take a tour. It took about 35 minutes from the Cancun airport and upon arrival, you'll enter this beautiful open air lobby and head to the check-in desk. At the check-in desk, you'll be asked for a $500 hold on a credit card. So make sure you bring a credit card not a debit card, and you'll be able to use this QR code to access the Digital Concierge. The Digital Concierge is this great website that gives you all kinds of information about the resort, the activities, the restaurants, and the menus. In this area, in the evenings, we have live performances. We had a saxophone player, a violin player, a piano player, so nice pre-dinner music. And headed to the left, we'll find one of the first bars. So this is the nice lounge area, and then to the left, you're going to find social. This is the mixology bar. They had a mixologist come in and make a menu with some very special craft cocktails. It's kind of the hot spot in the evening for pre-dinner. Heading around the corner, we're gonna find the buffet. So the buffet was open for breakfast and dinner during our stay. Now it's not always open for dinner. It depends on the occupancy. And it had a ton of different options. This is the breakfast buffet. So you can see here all the different breads, juices, hot dishes. We noticed the resort did a good job of noting allergens. If you have any questions about what's gluten-free, vegan, vegetarian, definitely seek out one of the employees to kind of walk you through the buffet and explain what's available. Of course, you don't want to miss the donuts and pastries if you uh, do eat gluten. And you have your oatmeal, your granolas, your fruits, and then box cereal. We noticed a couple of people grab a couple boxes on their way out to have a little snack available on their excursions. And you also have yogurt and different salad options. There were some Mexican options available for breakfast, which uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I love some huevos rancheros or chiquiquiles right in the morning. Now headed out of the buffet, we're gonna find this elevator as well as a set of stairs down. If you take those stairs down, you're gonna find Tempest, which is the Asian specialty option. This is open for dinner. You have three options. You have the teppanyaki tables here on the right that require a reservation. Then regular tables in the middle. This is just a regular Asian option. And then the sushi bar. Now to sit at the sushi bar, that also requires a reservation. So reservations for teppanyaki and sushi. And the sushi was incredible. This is one of the best sushi meals we've ever had in an all-inclusive resort. I mean, look at this incredible platter they prepared for us. Definitely a must visit. Now headed back upstairs, you see a little excursion booth there. Coming around the corner from the buffet, we're going to find the coffee shop. And in the morning, they set up this cute little churro stand with all the different churro toppings. So a fun way to start the day if you have a sweet tooth. This is Coffee Republic. This is the coffee shop that's available. This is where you're going to find your specialty lattes, mochas, cappuccinos. They do have different types of milk uh, if you can't have dairy. And then throughout the day, they switch out different sandwiches, pastries, and they have delicious ice cream. So very, very good. I highly recommend the chocolate. And for those of you that are gluten-free, they do have some gluten-free options. Now this is the little lounge area right outside of the coffee shop. You can see a peek through there to social. They have a nice jewelry store if you're looking for something special, another store with souvenirs and jewelries. And then if you kind of head out towards the front of the resort, you'll find the culinary concierge. So this is where you're gonna go. These white chairs right here is where you wanna go to make your reservations upon arrival at the resort. We also just called from the room. So we checked in, our room was available, we went to our room, and then I just dialed zero, and they connected me to the culinary concierge to make our reservations at Tempest. Now Tempest was the only one we needed to make reservations for. Everything else was just walk up and available. Looking down, you're going to find the grand staircase. They do have photographers set up here on some of the evenings to get your photos. And we're going to head down and check out the lower level. You do need to go down these stairs. I was not able to find an elevator that went down here, though you could come down through the elevators on the room side and walk in from the beach. Capri Grill is the Italian specialty restaurant. Again, no reservations. It did have about a 45 minute wait when we showed up one evening about 6.30. So if you come right at the, when it opens or later, you're not gonna have a long wait. But if you do come during prime time between 7.30 and 8.30, I would say 
uh, be prepared to wait. This is the delicious beef carpaccio. Now, if you order the pork shoulder, it is huge. I, it was delicious, but I wish my husband and I had shared it. Uh, but we had some great Italian dishes. Obviously, my favorite was the beef carpaccio and the pork shoulder. Now, down here, you have a lot of cute little seating areas. Now, this was nice in the evening because you did have that music coming from up top and you could head down here. In here, we're going to find the theater and it kind of turns into a nightclub. Uh, it's a bit small, I think, for this size of resort, but if you wanted to have some kind of special event, you absolutely could in here. It's air conditioned out of the rain in case you're coming during hurricane season, which lasts from June to November. They had karaoke in here and then a special show. Legend Sports Bar is also very popular in the evening. They put out this cool little snack buffet kind of during happy hour time. The sliders were really good. They have popcorn, carrots, uh, different kinds of hot appetizers. Uh, you can make your own salad. So if you're just looking for like a quick bite in the evening, this would be a good place to stop by. The stone here on the wall is um, indigenous Mayan stone, which I think is a great ad that they brought into the resort. And then we saw a lot of people playing card games here in the evenings. You also have lots of televisions. Um, they can bring in any of the games they have from the various channels that are available in your room as well as down here. You have darts, pool tables, foosball, uh, just a great space to kind of hang out inside into the late evening. There's also a ping pong table just outside of it. Now this is a great if you have kind of a larger group and you want to have your own space, you could head back here just behind the bottom of the staircase. On the right there, you're going to find the wedding office. And then just past that is the fitness center. Now the spa is a golf cart right away. And I don't include that in this video. Uh, you can make your uh, spa appointments in advance or upon arrival at the resort and then you'll head to the lobby talk to bell services and get the golf cart to head to the Z zen spa which is a bit uh, down the road closer to where you come in from the main road now let's head to the beautiful pool area you have all these great mature palms again because this was a renovation from the previous secrets capri here is the kind of casual lunch option so this would open from about noon to three o'clock every day. It had a small buffet. Um, we had burgers, hot dogs. They had really good grilled chicken here, roasted vegetables. One day they had ribs. Uh, one day they had tacos. So this is kind of the spot you're gonna go if you just wanna walk up in your bathing suit and grab a bite to eat. Now heading around the pool, you're gonna see we the, the buildings are about three stories tall. Some do have elevators. Um, or you can just kind of take the stairs. Now, the Secrets Capri closed in October of 2020. At that point, the Hyatt Zolara team moved in and did about two years of renovations, a lot of it to the rooms themselves and some of the infrastructure, and the hotel reopened in December of 2022. So here you can see a large pool area with a, lots of steps down into the pool. And heading around the corner, we're gonna find, now we're on the left side of the pool as you face the ocean. You're gonna see that's where you pick up your towels. And heading down, we're going to check out the Lola Beach Club. Now there are two restaurants in this area, which is something I didn't quite figure out when I first arrived. I thought it was all one restaurant and it's not. So this area with the tarps hanging over and the beach bar here on the right, uh, behind here is a small kitchen with a pizza oven. And then this area is the Lola Beach Club. Now this has a menu of tacos, flatbreads, different ceviches, a uh, great casual option. If you just want to pop up, um, you can easily be in a towel in your, in your cover up um, here. And then right behind it, you're going to find the beach. Woohoo! So this area of beach does tend to get a little bit of seaweed uh, throughout the summer. Now seaweed is totally changes day by day. You can see, look, I mean, here it was beautiful today. You have the lounge chairs that are available. Those are all just first come first serve. Now you'll note there aren't any umbrellas. So if you're like me and always looking for shade, this would be a little bit more challenging. You'd have to get up early to get some of those palapas that are pushed back closer to the resort because um, most of the chairs, about two thirds of the chairs, don't have shade available. But heading down to the beach, the sandwich is just a little bit rocky, um, but you still get that beautiful turquoise wet water. You may have a smidge of seaweed as 
you enter, you can see kind of it's a little bit brownish right at the entry, but it's a long beach. It's a wide beach, uh, so plenty of places to sit and enjoy if you're a beach person. Now, like you can see a little bit here of the brown um, as the rain and storms were coming in. So if you're there in December to March, no worry at all. Uh, if you're going to be there during hurricane season, just kind of prepare your heart. You may have a little bit of seaweed. Now up on this area here, now this is the other restaurant. This is the Lola restaurant. Now this offers lunch and dinner off of a menu. So it's a different menu than what's available at the beach club. Uh, we had a delicious fish stew there. Um, highly recommend ordering that as well as some grilled local fish. So great seafood options here at the resort. We were really impressed um, by the food within the restaurants. Now I will say the restaurant menus were a little bit limited. I think all places, all inclusives, cruises, etc. They're really trying to eliminate food waste. And so a lot of them have been scaling back their menus. Here's the other side of the pool. So you see these beach beds, those do require a reservation and have an extra charge. You have your swim up pool bar here. They're doing one of their exercise classes in the water. So they had spin in the water, Zumba, other water aerobics classes, lots of chairs around. We never had a problem finding a chair which was great. This area is used for weddings and private events. You have the beautiful lawn area and the palapa. So here's a closer look at some of those beach beds. Again, those are going to be an extra charge. Um, there's different packages depending on what kind of alcohol you want. So if you want champagne versus tequila, things like that. Lots of umbrellas here. So it was great easy to find shade around the pool. And then you see just behind that is going to be the swim up suites. Those are shared there's a shared pool among a number of different suites. Now coming around, you see there, the swim up bar does have the other side where you can hang out on dry land. So I like having those options where um, you can grab a seat and overlook the swim up bar or be in the water. Which do you prefer? Are you a swim up bar person? Are you a lay by the pool person? Are you a lay by the beach person? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. I'm a swim up bar person. I can just throw my bag on the ground and hop in. Now heading back inside, we're going to check out one of the rooms. This, this is what the inside hallways look like. Now coaties do get in here. So we did see some uh, of those little raccoon type animals. Now this is just a standard room here available at the Hyatt Zalara. I was very impressed with it. So you have your big screen TV. Again, with that QR code, you can use to get the daily activities. Your Nespresso machine, as well as your mini bar. So you got your little snacks there and then your complimentary mini bar. So it is Coke products as well as Tecate was the beer in the mini bar. I know sometimes you guys have a lot of questions about what the beer is available. Uh, had a lot of storage space. So you have your safe as well as a couple drawers and your hang up area. So we did get robes and slippers and we needed more hangers. We called and they brought them up right away. I was really impressed with that. In the bathroom, you have your toilet, your two sinks, and then a large stand up shower with a rainforest head. Now that can open or close. So you could have a, a look into the room from the shower if you wanted and the different bath amenities available. So you don't, it has shampoo, shower gel, conditioner, even a sewing kit, body lotion. So you can see here now those doors are open. So you can see from the shower into the room. Heading out to the balcony, this is a tropical view, uh, truly is tropical. So you can see the uh, mangroves and the different kind of jungle area they kept around the resort. This is overlooking uh, one of the swim up pools. So this would be a swim up pool with a tropical view there on the first floor. We were on the second floor. Now to give you a difference, this is the ocean view. So same room on the inside, but this is what would be considered an ocean view. You look out over the resort to the ocean. Now, if you don't see a view when you're booking this room, that means you're probably gonna overlook the lobby. So just keep that in mind. So that is Hyatt's Lara. What did you think? Did you visit when it used to be Secrets? Did you notice any differences under the new name and management? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to hear about your experience.